hello this is Vic welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos them the beautiful and spectacular city of Panama City here in Panama in Central America and I'm visiting Casco Viejo the historic part of Panama City it was established by the Spanish after 1671 here on the Pacific coast of Panama in this particular documentary, we're going to visit the most historic church at Casco Viejo. And we're going to admire the altar of gold. We're going to learn quite a bit about its history and the legends that surround this magnificent altar in the church of St. Joseph. Let's go for a tour. Let's do it. And uh, here's an inside view of the historic Church of St. Joseph, built in the late 17th century in the area of Panama City, now known as Casco Viejo, known as the old compound. The church from outside is rather unremarkable, what really attracts thousands of tourists per year is that altar right there known as the altar de oro the altar of gold and there are so many legends that surround this altar that we need to get a little closer and understand the history of panama city and then we are going to understand why this altar is called the altar of gold let's get a little closer let's admire it and as i said we need to understand the history the first city that was established by the spanish on the pacific coast was panama viejo in 1519 east from where i am right now and after 1519 and after Panama Viejo was established for 150 years, the Spanish were shipping from Panama Viejo tons of silver and gold from Peru to Spain. In 1671, Henry Morgan, the pirate, showed up with 1,200 pirates and destroyed Panama Viejo. And after destruction of Panama Viejo, the Spanish moved eight kilometers southwest to this area here known as Casco Viejo. They moved to a little peninsula, peninsula which they fortified with walls around it and it was much easier to defend from pirate attacks. And this is where I'm now. I'm at Casco Viejo, the second Spanish city on the Pacific coast. Now, this altar that you see here was in one of the churches of Panama Viejo and legend has it that it was saved from the destruction by Henry Morgan because the priest that was taking care of it painted it in black and claimed to the pirate that the altar was not finished and he asked for money from the pirate to finish it. A legend mentions that the pirate Henry Morgan actually contributed so that the altar gets finished. Of course, the altar was finished. It was just disguised. And when the Church of San Jose, or St. Joseph, was built here at Casco Viejo, the altar was moved here. It stands at about 10 meters in height. It is absolutely tremendous. And uh, it is made out of gold leaf and the details is absolutely beautiful we cannot go any closer this is as far as we can go so thousands of tourists come here you know to admire the altar of gold at the church of saint joseph the architecture of the church is not exactly remarkable. It doesn't have a particular style, except for the 
altar of gold and some of the statues of Christ and of the saints that you see here on both sides of inside the church. There's nothing really special. There are stained glass windows that you can see right there. But let's go a little closer and let's admire the altar of gold here at Casco Viejo in Panama City, the old compound built after 1671. This is Vic, thank you for joining me all the way from Panama City in Panama in Central America. Bye bye.